Sisters of the Sacred Heart. I am from the 2021 badge of the ASEC alumni and I feel very proud to be one of those who have graduated from ASEC. Notre appel comme les sœurs de la Sainte Union, c'est à être au cœur du monde pour révéler l'amour de Dieu. And exactly we are here in Bafusam. We are in Camp Cop 7, Bafusam 3 And we are in Paroisse Marie des Apôtres, Camp Cop. As our call is to be at the heart of the world, revealing God's love. Paroisse Marie Reine at the moment is our own heart of the world, where we minister to God's own people through health care and pastoral work. As members of this Precious Health Center, we are seven as Holy Union Sisters serving in this La Saint Union. And we have a staff capacity of around 30. The Central Medical Catholic La Saint Union was uh, created on the 19th of February 2020 and was officially opened and inaugurated on the 5th of October 2023. A center is like a baby that is preparing to go to class one in the primary school. When you will get to know Sancho Medical La Senior, you will know that the effect of ASEC on me has shaped this health center. As a Catholic health center, we value the dignity of every person and our work and services are person-centered and human rights based. Nous offrons des soins de qualité à toute catégorie de personnes. On ne tient pas compte de la religion, de la croyance, du personnel. Tout ce qui nous importe, c'est d'offrir des soins de qualité à tout type de personnes. Que tu sois chrétien, que tu sois païen, que tu sois musulman. Presently, I have my noble laptop that was given by ASEC. That is what I'm using for my apostolate. And in this particular mission, I cannot say one, two or three things without talking about ASEC. Among the many different things I experienced during my formation in ASEC, I've come to discover that I'm putting a lot into practice, sometimes knowingly and sometimes unknowingly. And this plays a lot from the kind of results we receive as sisters. We have, as I said earlier, a staff capacity of around 30, which include either uh, part-time workers or full-time workers. But we manage them with the spirit of the gospel. We ensure that each person that is working with us should feel loved by Christ. And we do that in the different ways in which we work with them. Esther Jomu Semo. Le Centre Médical Catholique La Sainte Union regorge un nombre considérable de personnel à la tête duquel nous avons un leader, représentante de la congrégation des Sœurs de la Sainte Union. Il existe naturellement une relation très rapprochée entre elle et son personnel parce qu'elle se rapproche de temps en temps de chaque personnel pour demander si tout va bien et s'assurer 
qu'il n'y ait pas de soucis qui puissent entraver leur travail. Elle prêche par l'exemple en participant à toutes les activités que nous menons dans notre structure. Particulièrement, ce qui m'a marqué sur elle, c'est qu'un jour, je suis tombé sur le carnet d'un patient que c'est elle qui allait consulter. Alors, dans cette magnifique structure, où plusieurs valeurs sont promu et encouragé dans cette structure parmi lesquelles la collaboration. Together we have been able to produce a strategic plan as you can see. This is a strategic plan that was produced in 2022. You have the English version and the French version. In one of our meetings, we had to to work on this and We have been working so hard at the end of every year to evaluate our strategic plan. Nous avons un plan stratégique que nous avons mis sur pied depuis, je crois, depuis des années déjà et chaque fois on fait l'effort de suivre cela. Si vous pouvez constater par exemple dans notre plan stratégique, on a eu à essayer de, on a mis sur pied, on avait parlé aussi de la construction d'un bâtiment avant l'année 2025. Et ce bâtiment est déjà sur place, est déjà, on est en train de construire déjà ce bâtiment. Les techniciens sont sur, sur place, ils sont déjà en train de le faire. We equally do a lot on the formation of our staff. Whenever there is a possibility somewhere out of the health center, we easily connect for our staff member based on what has to be, be learned. We connect for one of our staff members to go. And among ourselves, we do a lot of formation. We do what the, the French people will call recyclage. We try to update our knowledge in a way that we, we share among ourselves the different topics where we are best at. And each staff has to present once a week for us to be able to render better and quality services to the population. And when it comes to employment of staff, Oh, I've been able to bring up a staff appraisal form. I remember we were told in ASEC, like don't look at people from their face or faces or how fat they are or how small they are before you give them a job. You work with the document that is in place. So we have a staff appraisal form that before employment, every staff is evaluated. And annually we have an annual evaluation as well. And uh, together with the labor delegates, we have developed an internal regulation for our institution. This is our internal regulation. For our institution, and it can equally be used for other, uh, our Holy Union institutions. So this we had to work, I had to take time, work with the labor officer, and we came up with this. At first, I didn't have that courage to do some of this. But after the learnings, after the formation in ASEC, I think there are things I'm able to do now with a lot of courage and with a lot of confidence. And sometimes the staff are like, Sister, tu es bien, eh? Tu fais bien. And this is an example of our staff in, uh, appraisal form. And then for employment of staff, I once had a different experience before coming to, to Bafusan. But the process, I use there for staff employment is not the same process here. The experience after formation is completely different. And I feel that the present process is the best one for me at this time where I am in mission. And I feel that it is helping me and helping the staff with whom I am working. So together with the, our personnel in general, We try to keep them happy. We try to make life the best, uh, the best of what we would like to give to them, the best of what we would like to give to, to ourselves. And as I spoke about the strategic planning, each worker has responsibility over it from each service. So all the services are aware of the fact that they have to work based on the strategic plan that was made. Of what I'm experiencing that I'm able to do freely and happily is about organize, organizing work in the health center. Nous pensons que une vie sans organisation, c'est pas une vie, on peut pas aller au-delà. Le succès vient quand il est d'abord à la base programmée. Déjà, 
pour le travail ici au centre, tout personnel exécute un programme, il y a un programme à la base. Par exemple, chez nous, laboratoire, nous faisons, nous avons des, nous faisons des, à chaque fin de mois un programme. Et ce programme, nous suivons ce programme chaque fois. Au début, nous allons suivre ce programme en fait, au début de le mois prochain qui suit en fait. Organization at one point for me was a challenge because there were moments I didn't really have the courage maybe to, to, to go towards some people and bring them in. But the different strategies I have learned are helping me to organize work in a very uh, different and mature way. And the way work is organized here in La Saint-Union, we normally have uh, monthly meetings. At first, I used a different strategy. And this strategy was having monthly meetings when we started this uh, La Saint Union in 2020. But gradually I saw that beginning a new health center, that strategy wasn't helping me. So I had to develop a new one, a different one that I'm using now. And how do I manage this? I meet but with a different groups of workers. At the moment, I don't put every to get everybody together. I put I, we bring everybody together when we are to have like a general meeting at the end of the year. But presently, it's with a different equipe because we try that they should work in the equipe. And then on my part, and then with the other sisters, we see how to empower this different equipe. We do a lot of planning together. I will tell you. Planning together has reduced a lot of stress for me because I know when I plan, when I sit and plan with the general staff, 65% of my headache is reduced because I know they are ready to take up responsibility and they are ready to put what we have planned together into practice. And after the planning, I make sure we don't plan execute an end without making an evaluation or without giving a feedback. I do that a lot with them and I still say it is time to ask that this center is becoming what it is. And I feel too that uh, with, the, with the staff, they, are, they easily come to give suggestions because sometimes we can plan and at one point they are seeing that what we are to do might not be very fruitful or the objective might not be attained. They easily come back to me and say, Sister, could we think this way? Could we do the other way? And with that now, finally, we are able to move on. We do a lot of stress management because sometimes, especially us sisters, we easily can move around with a lot of stress. So what we do for our stress management in La Sainte Union is that we do a lot of dancing. You just need to play music and you find that the whole staff gets up to dance. Or sometimes we can organize dance competitions among ourselves. You can put maybe sisters and other groups or you mix the sisters and you find that everybody is engaged, they practice and will come and do the competitions among ourselves. And we sing, there's a lot of singing in the center. sing or to learn a song, I think we use that to, out of the stress of uh, giving treatment, knowing that sometimes we have a difficult patient, you feel like you want to do something different. So I try to create different opportunities in which our workers can manage their stress and still do their work well and take care of their patients. So and in that case, sometimes we go out. Go out, we have um, we go for outings like last year we were in Tajidor, which is a very nice place. 
And when they came back from Tajidor, I will tell you, the spirit of work even changed. It became better because of the kind of experience we had in Tajidor. This year, we went out not for, for sightseeing, but went to a, a Marian shrine this year. So we do different things to make us move sometimes out of the center. And when we come back, I always feel they come back with a completely different spirit that is able to uphold, uplift our patients. And even the patients will say, Vraiment, ma soeur, tes personnes sont bien. Ici, quand tu viens, tu sais que tu vas te bien soigner. Yeah. <laughs> Here in our center, each, each morning we have morning prayer that we pray with all the patients and all those who are coming for consultation. We also have what we call choir practice on Wednesday to prepare myself the, of the, the Thursday morning. Our parish priest of Tangkong always make the effort to be there at 7 Eastern for our Mass. During Mass, uh, we have also the communion of the sick. So, we, uh, the Father always pray to the patient that, um, that are ready to take communion. Also, we have catechism. All our workers that would like on ne peut pas recevoir le baptême et on continue à sacrifier aux Osida. Parce que lorsqu'on reçoit le baptême, on n'a plus qu'un seul sacrifice à offrir. Et ce sacrifice, c'est quoi Celui de la messe. Bonjour à tous. Moi, c'est Marc de la Saint-Ignan. Oui. Lorsqu'il y a problème, il y a toujours des problèmes dans les structures. Mais lorsqu'il y a problème, nous essayons nous-mêmes de gérer. C'est quand même mieux avancer en équipe. Vraiment, il faut savoir, il faut que nous-mêmes, entre nous, on essaie de gérer nos, nos conflits d'abord entre nous pour faire avancer notre, nos équipes. Quoi. Oui, et parfois même pour faire avancer notre structure. Mais nos problèmes ici chez nous, ça ne sort pas trop. Parce que tout, on essaie de, de garder nos choses et d'essayer de gérer entre nous. En général, lorsque nous avons les problèmes entre nous, on essaie de poser et de, de se pardonner entre nous. Bonjour les mamans. Bonjour. Euh, ça va un peu chez vous? Ok, je suis là avec notre frère qui est venu pour vous dire un bonjour. Euh, ça va un peu. Bonjour maman Bernadette. Bonjour. Bonjour maman. Bonjour. 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 Merci beaucoup. Merci. Et bienvenue dans notre centre catholique de la Sainte-Union de Tamcov. Merci d'avoir choisi notre centre. Je me nomme Tatuan Chamba Aïssa Vivian, responsable de l'accueil et de la petite chirurgie. Quand on parle de l'accueil, l'accueil d'abord, c'est le premier médicament du patient. Parce que quand un patient arrive et que tu l'accueilles, comme il faut normalement, le patient se sent soulagé. Chez nous, à la Sainte-Union, on ne gaspille pas le temps libre. Parce qu'il y a toujours des petites petites choses qui manquent dans la maison. Donc parfois, soit je roule mes cotons, soit je découpe mes sparaglas, soit je plie mes compresses. Notre directrice a un très grand impact sur nous parce qu'elle n'est pas seulement un leader parfait, mais elle est aussi comme une camarade, comme une maman pour nous. Parce que grâce à elle, nous avons certaines euh, connaissances que nous sommes sortis de la maison, nous n'avions pas connu ces connaissances. Donc, parfois, quand il y a beaucoup d'affluence chez nous, et qu'elle voit qu'elle peut nous donner des coups de main, que ce soit dans les soins, elle le fait. Quand l'enfant vient, on doit être prêt. On 
pensé que la femme va venir. Ah, tu il y a aussi les mamans qui n'ont jamais accouché. Ils ne savent pas comment on veut. Ça se passe. I am Sister Rachel Sheila Yuen, a midwife working in a safe institution. Our maternity services begin at the level of pre-conceptual care. Here we accompany young couples who intend to have uh, a conception, carry out essential lab tests, which are vital to the lives of the mother, father as well, and the baby. During our antenatal care, we receive women from the moment of uh, conception to about 40 weeks, and we see them at least once a month where we follow up the growth of their pregnancy and ensure that both the mother and the baby are doing fine. During this time, we equally help them understand that labor is, is going to be a very crucial moment and they are ready for delivery. Obstétricale. Vous savez, l'hôpital Ancien Union est un centre médical qui nous permet beaucoup plus de comprendre que les patients arrivent ici à vocation gynécologique. Donc, euh, nous réalisons très souvent des échographies de femmes enceintes. Je me nomme Nekam Dempini, infirmière au service de vaccination. Alors, comme chaque mois, nous planifions au total quatre séances de vaccination qui se tiennent chez les, euh, chaque lundi. Et nous constituons ensuite une équipe de quatre personnes. La première personne enregistre les carnets, prend les paramètres des bébés. La deuxième personne marque les rendez-vous et, et enregistre dans le registre de vaccination proprement dit. La troisième personne fait la vaccination sur l'enfant et la quatrième personne est là pour accompagner les enfants. Bienvenue au centre médical appelé la Sainte-Union. Ici, c'est la salle de prélèvement du laboratoire. Donc, ici, nous clôturer. Notre laboratoire est disposé à analyser tous vos échantillons, quels qu'en soient vos examens sollicités, quels qu'en soient les examens biologiques, comme les géologrammes, les profils lipidiques, les examens de suivi. Je viens au centre médical, j'ai une confiance totale pour ma délivrée étant guérie. Oui. La présence de Dieu est là. La prière est là où la plus sûre. Oui. Et au centre médical de Cancor, la Sainte Union, il y a des messes qui sont organisées. Je suis Pierre Fautier William, infirmier supérieur dans cette merveilleuse structure sanitaire. Cette formation de plusieurs infirmiers qualifiés, parmi lesquels je suis responsable de la gestion des stagiaires. Tous stagiaires désirant faire un stage académique où le perfectionnement est tenu d'être en possession de ses objectifs de stage. Activities like uh, the, the house, we also have uh, those who are bereaved, like people that have lost their father. Je suis en train d'entretien dans le centre médical. Dans le centre médical catholique, centre Union, Pécanto. Moi, je me lève chez moi tous les matins. Je suis très contente de mon travail pour venir faire mon travail comme vous êtes en train de voir. Le travail de ménage tous les jours. Le le ménage qui. Another activity of the bursary is in budgeting. The bursary takes care of the annual budget of the year, which takes place in November. 
in collaboration with the Metro for the following year. And this budget is being analyzed at the end of the year so as to see how it was being managed. Another activity is a monthly financial report which the Bursa prepares at the end of the month and together with the Metro, they analyze everything together to, to see how activities were carried out financially in the health center. And the Metro, together with me, sign the copies and they are all filed. Another activity carried out two times per year is the inventory of the assets of the health center, which includes machines and equipment. The bursary equally carries out stock counts at the level of the pharmacy. This is stock counts of medications and some medical consumables. Welcome. We saw that I don't work for the hospital for about three years. Something. Yes, I know ever. If you work fine for the hospital, if you work fine, this is the advice we, but not the advice more hala. If you keep going down, the advice we, two of them is fine. No problem with this one. This hospital, the nurse them, the doctor them, don't work together. It's no problem. My sister, the whole way, no problem. You know the hala, no man. Project writing. At the end of our graduation, we were reminded to start lobbying for projects. This is one of our projects going on in La Centineur. We are doing an extension of the center. As you remember, when I spoke about our strategic plan, I said the center is very small and we are looking for possibilities of raising another structure that could help support this situation. So this is one of the projects going on. We are doing an extension and we are going, this is going to help us and equally help our, our patients and the services that we are offering. There are other projects of um, equipping the old structure that we succeeded in. This is still equally turns to, to asset. And presently in Bafusam, because of the crisis in the Northwest and the Southwest regions in Cameroon, we are taking care, we are helping and supporting and empowering internally displaced women and girls in Bafusam. So most of them are already at work and we'll be visiting them as you can see. Uh, Balinyonga subdivision. With the jump on top, another die body with the wrong. The camp of Bamsa have been strip of floor. I be a Presbyterian Christian. Anytime where with the that he say na OG and Kebab come, you know not get family, they no man who go help you. So God don't give my own family for Catholic mission, Sister Vera. A holy union. They give me money, they buy me the firewood. And my first time, I never ever received that I am. We had lost hope. But you have given us the book once more. Let me clap for yourselves. <laughs> there you go. Give for encourage the farm master. Some of the challenges we face, one is competition. We have so many health centers in our health area. Secondly, the space we have in the center is not enough. The third challenge for us, and is for me in particular,
May God bless you. Ciao.